Your body is an unbelievable organism that has the physical ability to work in an efficient and graceful manner. But in order to maintain or improve these physical abilities, you need to work your body consistently and efficiently. What's up dudes and what is up beautiful ladies out there? Brian here and in this video we are going to discuss five different ways of how to be more efficient in your workouts. All right. Let's roll. The first way to be more efficient is to combine strength and cardio training by doing circuit training. The two most common things that a majority of people want to accomplish with their fitness training is to lose weight and maintain or improve strength. Circuit training is an efficient way to approach both of these. By going from exercise to exercise with little to no rest in between the exercises, you can keep your heartbeat up for cardio and by doing resistance training exercises, you can improve strength at the same time. A quick example of a circuit would be to do a set of dumbbell side raises to work your shoulders, then change the weights, do a dumbbell goblet squat to work your legs and glutes, then again change the weights and do dumbbell curls to work your biceps in the front of your upper arms. Take a break for 30 seconds or longer if you need to and repeat the circuit and rest period two more times. In this example circuit, we worked shoulders, biceps, and legs, kept our heartbeat up, and did this circuit in less than 10 minutes. So three circuits, doing three targeted exercises in each circuit, for a total of nine exercises, will allow you to hit all the areas of your body, arms, legs, chest, back, and core, keep your heartbeat up to burn more calories and improve your cardiovascular function, and can be done in about 30 to 40 minutes. Very efficient. Another way to be more efficient is to use stances or body positions. For instance, let's look at a rowing exercise. You can do a row on a seated cable machine, and this is a great exercise. But if you were to do this standing in a split stance, using a cable machine or a resistance band, now your legs and core are really engaged to stabilize you during the movement. So now a row, a great back exercise, is also working your legs and core. Very efficient. You can use this split stance to do cable or resistance band bicep curls, cable or resistance band tricep kickbacks, a cable or resistance band chest press, and cable or resistance band shoulder pulls. Another way to be more efficient is to do single leg exercises. For instance, let's look at standing biceps curls. If you switch it up and do these on one foot with a slight bend at the knee, your leg and core are engaged to stabilize you during the movement. If this is too difficult for you, you can do single leg, single arm curls and hold on to something with your free hand during the exercise. So now an arm curl, a great biceps exercise, is also working your legs and core and helping improve your balance. Very efficient. As your balance improves, you can do many different single leg exercises such as single leg side raises, single leg kickbacks to work the triceps in the back of your upper arms, single leg rows to work your back, single leg wheel rotations to really hit your core, and even single leg deadlifts to target the hamstrings in the back of your upper legs. And as I mentioned earlier, if your balance isn't quite great yet, you can also do these using one arm and hold on to something with your free hand during the exercise. As your balance improves even more, you can also do all of these single leg exercises I just mentioned and change them up by doing single arm versions without holding on to something with your free hand, which will really improve your balance and require even more core engagement. With all of the exercises I just mentioned, you should always use lighter weights. Another way to be more efficient is to do combined movements. For example, a dumbbell squat, a dumbbell arm curl, and a dumbbell shoulder press. You can combine these three and from a standing position, do a squat, into an arm curl, into a shoulder press. By combining these in one exercise, you've worked your legs, biceps, and shoulders, as well as helping to improve your coordination. Very efficient. There are many different combinations you can do, such as a bent over row into a triceps kickback, a chest press and a leg lift, as well as a glute bridge into a shoulder raise, a glute bridge into a chest press or dumbbell fly, and even a squat into a single leg front raise. Again, you should always use lighter weights, but I would recommend never doing any of these movements with extremely heavy weights. Another way to be more efficient is to do cardio differently. When it comes to cardio, most people want to hop on a machine, such as a treadmill or an elliptical, to get their cardio in. But cardio can be combined with coordination drills to improve upon both of these at the same time. For instance, just by throwing a ball against a wall and then fielding it as it returns to you can help improve your fitness level in many ways. Throwing and fielding require multiple joint movements, movements laterally or side to side, forwards and backwards movements, squatting down, hand-eye coordination, and this little drill will keep you constantly moving, helping with cardio. And now you've got a nice little, very efficient, 
and inexpensive workout. You can also do other sports drills such as dribbling and shooting a basketball, dribbling and kicking a soccer ball, or using a racket to hit a ball against a wall to improve your coordination and cardiovascular fitness at the same time. All right, my friends, keep pushing yourself to make today better than yesterday. I've got more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.